everyone, and welcome to episode 96 of the 10 Minute Morning Challenge. Very close now to 100 this week. It's going to be another quickie, so no uh, one of these uh, 60, 90 minute long ones. So Arvid, you should be happy about this one. Uh, it's going to be fit to your schedule. I know you need to go to bed early, as usual. With that said, I'm just going to do a treehouse. I've been to tree themes a lot lately, and I thought, why not? Why not? Just a little treehouse. I'll combine a house and a tree, and we'll see what we can fit in 10 minutes, and maybe, maybe, just maybe I'll do a little bit of fixing up in the end, or lighting, maybe. Check out uh, previous videos, uh, the last uh, five or so, if you want to check the setup for this video, because I'm going to use uh, EV again to render it, and I'll use uh, my uh, standard setup for coloring and everything like that. So check out uh, the cyber room and onwards, like the lighthouse and all those things, cyber uh, tank and yeah, those episodes and you'll figure out how to do the lighting because I don't want to run through that in every episode. All right, a tree house. Ready, steady, go and we're off. Yay. I was already in edit mode actually, saved myself some time there and then I wasted it by talking. Scale, shift, Z. Maybe just bring it up to there. Let's make some dirt color or we'll do uh, grass on top here. And then I'm going to do the tree. So I'll do my normal method here. Uh, control or I'll do right click. House, why do I have so many things? Ooh. Well, loads of options there that I'm not used to. Uh, circle and scale it down. And then we'll bring this one to a brown. E to extrude, S to scale. Oh, this is shiny. I have to change the material. It's way too shiny for being, uh, it's from the cyberpunk theme still. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do, whoa, 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 whoa. Clicking a lot here. So bear with me. I'm gonna change the shininess of this in a moment. So we can't have like a shiny tree like this, I guess. Rotate and E to extrude there. We'll put the tree house up here. So E to extrude one more time and control R so I can get some more geometry here. Select these, loop tools add on. Comes with Blender by default, just enable it. Control right click, scale, control right click, scale, control. Actually, I should do this so I can put the tree house here. Control right click, scale, control right click. I wonder if I even get gonna get to the actual tree house part. <laughs> uh, I'll waste all my time doing the tree again as usual. As usual, I've never done a treehouse before. There we go. But I've done trees. So control, right click, scale, control, right click. That's This is the shiniest tree in mankind or in Blender kind. Let's see, in Blender history, scale. There we go. And control, right click. Okay, I probably won't have time to put leaves and stuff, will I? Uh, should we put this one a little bit further down maybe? There, circle. Scale it, G to move it in, control right click. If it works, why didn't it work? Control right click, control right click. I'm just gonna try to leave a little bit of room here for the actual tree house somewhere. Uh, we used to build tree houses when I was a kid. I like them a lot, like it a lot. Scale, circle, rotate, G. And here again, a good branch here. I never found trees quite this good though for a tree house. This is this would have been ideal to plant it down. E to extrude. Oh, I did uh, E to extrude instead. There we go. Maybe a little bit too perfect, but never mind. I'll put uh, just for different branch here as well. So I've already got uh, two and a half minutes into this. Set, all right. So I should actually probably start doing the actual tree house. I think I'll do the lighting afterwards and I'll fix the material after too. I'll have to do this solid so it's a little bit faster. Oh, that looks nice, clean. There we go. So here now I'm going to start putting some planks down, I guess. So uh, shift D to duplicate that scale Z, move it up. And I'll just have to put some uh, scale Y <laughs> planks here. Some random, randomly allocated planks. Where's my axis? Oh, it's green. I can't hardly see it. Okay, E to extrude this one and I'll just have to move this in to there. Do darker wood here then so we can tell them apart there. Alt, select the linked. Shift D to duplicate. Scale Y. I'll have to make these a little bit more irregular as well, I guess. Scale Y. And scale Y. Shift D to duplicate. Scale Y. There we go. And maybe like this. Uh, Control R. Let's loop cut these a bit. Uh, to plankify them. <laughs> I know that's not a word, but. O for proportional, G, scale, scale, G, G, how am I doing? 602, time goes so fast when it's 10 minutes. 10 minutes always takes 10 minutes, but sometimes it feels faster than others. 
especially when you need to try to fit a lot of stuff in. Okay, so that should be all right, I guess. Um, L to select the link, shift D, rotate Z1, or no, 90. And then I'll just have to put some other planks here, I guess. I don't really care if it goes through like the, through the branches. I don't really have time to fix that, so. Shift D to duplicate this one, scale X, shift D, scale, scale X, shift D, shift D, shift D, shift D, and now we'll just have to, again, scale, scale, G, oh, I deleted it by mistake. G, my keyboard's too far away. G, G, all right. So now I'll put some uh, plank, oh, these are too, too identical. Okay, so four fifths, half time's already gone. Uh, I, I'll start putting some walls up, I guess. So I, I'll put a corner post here. Scale X, E to extrude, maybe one meter. Uh, put some corner posts here. Control R, loop cut that one. Make a little bit more wood like, like wonky fine it. L, Shift D, Shift D. And here, I guess I'll put some vertical planks here. Shift D, scale X, scale Z, E to extrude. And the less perfect, the better, to be honest. So, G, G oh, it's raining a lot outside today. Shift D, and there we go. Maybe a little bit longer. So these are kids building this. Plus the planks are, I don't know, randomly found somewhere. I don't know why they're so wonky. It's like aged old school planks, but they didn't exactly have timber machines, the kids, to make these. Am I recording? Yeah. Scale. So shift D. Should we put another floor on it as well? Since we've got some creative freedom here. Scale. G. G. All right. Let's bring this post up. Control R, and let's put another post here then. Shift D, well, we have to put a ladder on as well. So this is probably a bad move. I don't even know what scale I'm doing this in. Shift D, Shift D, put a little extra height here. G, Z, maybe if I move it up one meter, then I know roughly what height we're at. L to select the link here, Shift D, let's just borrow these planks and reuse them. Repurpose planks, uh, three minutes to go. Scale X. Why is this one a lot higher? No, it wasn't. It was just G. We'll put the lighting on in the bonus material, I think. So Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. And, oh, I keep pressing delete there or something. So, all right, let's just do that. And then I'll have to put some vertical or rotate Z90 scale. G, move this one up here somewhere. Uh, Shift D to duplicate this one. A lot of similar planks here, but we'll have to live with that. G. I'll just try to make them a little bit different at least. There we go. And 235, I'll put a ladder here as well. So Shift D, scale X, B to extrude, L. Bring this one down. And E to extrude, G. And here we go. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? I have no idea what, where in 3D space I am. <laughs> where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Why did I think of that right now? I have no idea. It's just wasting precious time. But that was a fun game back in the CGA days. I used to love playing that one. If you haven't tried it, try it with you kids. Learn a bit of geography while you're at it. There we go. Shift D, Z, minus 0 0.3 maybe. No, 0 0.4. Shift R. And we're missing the mark here. But we've got proportional. We'll fix it. E, control R, oh, control R, control L. It's looking too perfect. One minute to go, we're in 40 seconds, so I've got a lot of extra time there. G, control R, G, and that's it. That's what's like free, hanging in free space. All right, so we're not gonna be able to do anything more like spectacular here, I guess, but let's put another post here. This could be potentially dangerous. Health and safety will kick in. So L to select this one, Shift D, duplicate this plank. G to move it, G to move that, L, Shift D, bring that down there, and should we put one minute to go? I'll put some green stuff here anyway. So let's do a icosphere, A, scale zero, put it to green. There we go, still got proportional scale, 
wonkify it with proportional air. Rotate Z. Get some twist there. L to select the linked. Shift D. Shift D. Ah, Shift D. <laughs> Rotate Z. We'll just have to make it a little bit. Oh, this is a lot of. Uh, I have to do an open here so we can see what's going on. G. 30 seconds to go. G. Maybe I'll do some, like a canopy thing up here as well. Rotate. Scale. Shift D. We'll put some lights to make this look a little bit more interesting in a second, I think. Shift D. And 13 seconds. I'll put some more. Just some more. Ah, uh, greenery stuff here. And let's fix uh, the lighting in post and see what we turn up. Whoa! Hanging in free air. That's... Uh, dismiss. So I got myself out of the isometric bounds here. But let's save this one first of all. It feels like I'm not recording or something. But I am. That's good. All right, first of all, let's fix the camera because we went out of bounds here. Oh, I was in isometric. When did I change that? Or orthometric, or orthographic, I mean. Perspective, let's go back into perspective. G. And we have to do something about this shininess and the lights for some reason. Very dark, but it's going to be a night scene again. I, I'm like stuck in night mode at the moment. Maybe we can go back into rendered here now. First thing I'm going to do is change the lighting here. Or no, 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 the material, first of all. So I'm going to go scroll this one down a bit and then figure out here. We don't need, the, or we need a lot more roughness. There we go. And then now we should put some light sources in here. So let's put, okay, let's stick a light source in here to see. Shift A, light, point light. And let's boost up to maybe 250, no, 500. And a yellow light as if it's like some sort of a torch or a fire or something, maybe. I'll stick some more light sources in here. We could like put a lantern or something in here to pretend, or candles or whatever. There we go. Let's put some lights in there. Should we put here on the corners and then just put some emitting stuff here? blocking a bit there but never mind that is one big canopy on this this little tiny branch here let's fix that too then maybe we can see a little bit more what's going on so just a bit of tinkering time here as usual that's what we do and we should change this camera then too I'm gonna fly it into place shift F and then maybe what angle should we have on this? That's nice. There we go. And maybe just for the sake of it, let's tinker a little bit down here at the bottom. Make it look a little bit less perfect. Control R. We'll do like a little floating island thing. Not that I've ever done that before. <laughs> Little patch there. Should we shift the terrain a little bit too? That's it. Maybe put some fake stuff here, whatever that is. Control R, scale. Some greenery or something. Uh, could be a rock. L, change rock colored. I wonder if we could. Uh, what happens if we put a thousand there? Not much. Stronger light, I guess. And what could have been different? So this is a very simple treehouse now. I think I'll, I might just keep it like that, you know. That was a very quick one. Maybe if just for some slight content uh, bonus material here. I won't do a long video of this one, like I promised. But you could just build on this uh, treehouse by keep replicating or duplicating planks. And uh, the bonus material this week, I haven't said that in a long time. And it's going to be uh, nothing spectacularly new, but as you might know, like this is one big giant object now. And L selects the linked one, so this is for all you new people here. 
and by pressing L to select the linked, you can actually, even though you're in the same object, you can in access like individual uh, objects within the objects, all the vertices that are linked here. And it's a really fast way to just do Shift D to duplicate these things into separate planks. And then you can do whatever you want with them. And then I've got proportional up here, which is O on the keyboard. And uh, that allows you to change the planks quite quickly. And you don't have to be so picky. The, I think a lot of people that start out, they're going a little bit overboard with the pickiness and they either try to do everything like too perfect. Uh, but when you're creating like planks and tree houses and things like that, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect at all. In fact, the less perfect it is, the better it is usually. And same here with the post, you can just go crazy by uh, a lot of extrusions. So you could extend these, uh, put more planks on. Let's say you wanted to put a window in here. Shift D to duplicate that one. And again, you can duplicate it and quickly change it into a new plank by just proportional editing on. And another important thing here is that, see that I've got proportional, but there's like a little cavity or a hole in the middle there. And that's, if you have, press Alt O, it'll toggle between that one being filled in and not. It's, and that's whether you should have connected geometry. If I change now, you can see that it's actually changing all the planks. Sometimes you want to do that. But with Alt O here, you can actually change the individual planks like this, which is really handy. So let's just get this one up here. And let's say we wanted to put a window here. There's a few ways you could do it. I could do L to, or I can Alt click on this one and loop select there, press delete and that deletes the faces. I can Alt select this one and press F to fill it in because you don't really want to have a hole there. Even though it's difficult to see, there's a hole there. So F to fill that one in. And we could bring that one down, bring this one up, and then maybe we'll want to put stuff for the post. And again, I just keep using this method all the time. Shift D to duplicate. It's a really fast way to do it. D to extrude. Be careful so you don't, e don't extrude in the wrong direction. Because if I go back into solid now, can see that this one's actually got a hole in it and if it doesn't show that for you go up here and do make sure that back face culling is enabled here because if it's not it looks like it's a solid object but it's actually inverted so if i press z and go back into rendered l or actually i'll stay in solid alt n recalculate outside that'll fix that problem most of the time so we've got a little block there and shift d to duplicate this one and put that one into place there and that could be like our little window here all right so that's going to be it this week uh, i suggest go crazy and just uh, make yourself some tree houses that'd be fun let's see if anyone can come up with some really cool uh, uh, tree house designs stick them in the discord server and uh, share your thoughts on uh, whatever tree house you'd like to build all right quick one this week so thanks a lot for joining in and uh, don't forget to come back next week for another 10 minute video it's going to be episode 97 so it's only a few episodes until the big 100 now so i have to figure out of uh, some sort of a celebration i don't think i celebrated 50 so much but i should really do uh, this could be a monumentous big episode maybe the last one we never know hit the like button if you liked the video subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next week bye for now